हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अवर वीडियो सो गाइस यू आर बैक टू अवर चैनल माय लकी शाइन इंस्टा सो टुडे आई एम इन फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड व्हिच इज वेरी ग्लैड फॉर मी सो आई हैव गॉट माय न्यू टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ साइंस दिस मॉडर्न साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी सो आई आई वाज टेलिंग माय मॉम दैट आई वांट टू शेयर माय फर्स्ट लेसन टू माय फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे आई एम बैक एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू दिस लेसन फूड एंड फॉर गुड हेल्थ सो हियर food we need food to give us energy to work and play as you all know we we will do many works in our daily life as you know we will bath we will brush we will do our many games we will play games we will do our work we will sit we will stand we will walk we will run so for this and all work we should need some energy if we don't get this energy so we cannot do this work so it is an intention so next is to grow uh if we are, we should be very tall we should be very little average fat so th- this is also important to make our body strong and healthy so if we will not get uh, energy strong and be healthy we will feel uh, we will get diseases we will not feel very nice so this is also very important uh a good food is the one which is rich in essential nutrients so a good food is one which is initial which is rich in initial nutrients so a good food will only always have rich initial nutrients okay nutrients are chemical substance that are initial for the healthy growth and development of the body and as you uh, i want to say that the nutrients is a chemical substance that is initial for health for health of the gro- health and growth for the development of the body we will not get uh, nutrients so we will not develop our body and not get healthy grow okay our our food contains five main nutrients namely carbohydrate fat protein vitamin and mineral our body needs all these nutrients along with roughage and water to remain healthy all types of nutrients have their own function perform inside the body so there are five main types of nutrients called carbohydrate fats proteins and proteins vitamins minerals we will count two more which are roughage and water all types of nutrients have their own function as you all know for example fat has is uh, and protein vitamin and minerals also okay <laughs> then facts hence it is important us to uh, to know the rules of our food recognize the various food which contain these nutrients fats and carbohydrates both gives us energy as we all know fat and carbohydrate both gives us energy thus these are called energy food energy giving food so energy giving food is the food i will show you see in this note i have wrote for you so you guys see energy giving food the food which gives us energy to do work is called energy giving food for example fats and carbohydrates okay guys so next what is proteins are called growth for body building fruit so body building fruit uh, contains protein vitamins and minerals are carbo- protective foods so protective food protect our body from various diseases and that insects which attack our body i mean we can also say as white cells that these are like okay <coughs> some important vitamin are vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c e and k so there are many vitamin as we know so these are the main a vitamin is very important for us b c d will we will get from sun rays e and k etc some more in minerals are iron potassium calcium and iodine these are very important for us so here is a fun fact for you guys in this book there is a fun fact okay vitamin c initial for humans but not for cows as they can produce in their body so guys this is telling that our human need vitamin c because it is important here also it is written so for cow it is not initial as the vitamin c is made in their body itself okay so let's come to the next page as we all see that energy giving food are 
see here rice is there a plate of rice sugar potato and bread here is some type of fruit i cannot see this is milk milk meat and hot dog inside and then butter fish egg chicken and cheese okay now protective food is some uh, like dry fruits sprouts and these uh, nuts vegetables fruits and almond etc so now contents of food okay contents of food here it is given carbon dioxide its function is carbon dioxide gives us energy to do physical works like play sugar and starch are the forms of carbohydrate so carbohydrate gives us energy it is also like uh, energy giving food we can say so there are many types of carbohydrates they are right wheat maize corn potatoes bread and sugar so our next number is fat fat function is like carbohydrate carbohydrate fat also gives us energy in in like fat they give us more energy than carbohydrate they are stored in our body to provide provide energy for later use so as we all know fat is very important for our body okay so it is like uh, uh, you know polar bear it will sleep in summer and how it survive do you know when it will be winter season he will wake up and eat many fat so that in the so that in the summer week uh, summer season the fat will be used for, and he will get protein okay so it is the same a uh, fat also keep us warm in the body do you know fat is like a liquid substance which keeps our body warm so here are some example of fat butter cheese ghee vegetable oils dry fruits meat cheese cream okay so here are next protein protein are needed for building our muscles oh so we will have six abs <laughs> and for repairing worn out tissues growing children like you need more protein they are telling us that we should eat protein so that you need this protein to get okay so for example there are soya beans milk meat fish eggs pulse okay vitamin and minerals okay its function is vitamin helps our body fight against diseases minimal skin our body healthy and fit they strengthen the bones and muscles and maintain the normal function of our body so so this vitamins and all are used to fight for diseases as we have learned here also that protect they are uh, see this protective for vitamin and so they protect us by killing the diseases minerals gives our body healthy and fit so this is also okay i need i no need to explain too much okay fruits and vegetable fish egg milk are having okay so here our next point is fiber and roughage these help food and waste to move easily through the digestive system it shows our fruit our and vegetable whole grain breads and cereals beans etc so guys i am having a question okay how many organs are there in the digestive system please write it in the comment section okay you, your parents should not help you you would write in your own so shall i say now the organs are very funny funny organs there yeah? the mouth um, number one mouth food pipe gall bladder stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus okay so here about we will learn about water water is an important component of our body almost Two third of our body is made up of water. This is also fact for you guys. This water section is a fact for you. Water helps our system in our body to function properly. It has a medium thoughts, which nutrients are carried to various parts of the body, and waste removed through sweat and urine. It also helps in temperature regulation. We should drink. at least 6 to 8 glass of water every day rafid in water are not nutrients but it is important include them our diet to stay healthy so guys this is a uh, this is uh, who uh, this is the kind of diet see he is eating bahut very less oily food and little bit fat 
and very good and very very too much protective food which is important nice and this is bodybuilding food a type of i mean this is also protective food so these three are protective food and you should eat less these two okay so this is also correct now we were going to learn balanced diet so guys first i will explain you what is means of balanced diet so in my own i will tell you a balanced diet is a balanced as a diet which contains all the nutrients in a amount uh, in a amount all the nutrients should be uh, in way of you if you are too much fat so how much fat you should eat if you are too much weak how much you should eat if you are short what should you eat if your eyes are not can't see properly what you should eat so if you are non veg what should you eat so these are also okay so let's read now this point a diet that contains sufficient amount of all the nutrients as well enough water and dietary fiber is called balanced diet we cannot get all nutrients from a single food item so a diet must include food items that are rich in different nutrients this is very important to include many things in our diet guys i am telling you i am warning you a balanced diet should have many things if you are keeping a diet for you so you should have this okay a balanced diet is different from for different people depending on their age i just told you now this cereals and potatoes milk and milk product fat oils and sweets okay fruits and vegetable pulse meat fish and egg okay so now we are going to learn about junk food and obesity junk food is rich in sugar and fat but it but has very little protein yes protein vitamins and minerals water wafers burgers pizza chocolate ice cream cold drinks noodles and pastries are some example of junk food so guys this is a type of question can you say this answer okay so i'm saying the food we eat contains here yeah, it should come different dash and dash are called energy giving food guys i have a doubt so guys you have to do that uh, you have to take this screenshot you can take this screenshot if you have taken take the screenshot and put in the comment section with the answer in it okay eat so let's continue from here eating a lot of fatty and sugar food causes deposit of extra fat in our body this makes a person overweight hmm this is important guys you are not eating very fat you are not fat no yes i am very thin you know i am eating very protective so i am very protective so guys next is obesity in children affect their growth and development people who eat a lot of fats like ghee and butter are more prone to heart diseases diabetes and many other health problem so guys this is a activity time for you so take some fried noodles pakoda and samosa wrap this in a piece of paper let the paper dry observe in the front of a light source what do you see you can observe a transcurrent spots on the paper so guys for example if you will take some oily food oil and put in a paper the paper will change its color so this is the same activity if you will buy a samosa from the shop the shopkeeper will wrap it in a paper and wrapper and the paper's color will be changed you have seen many times i know ways to make a diet healthier try to eat raw vegetable like carrot beetroot tomato and cucumber as they contain many vitamin so guys these are types of protective these are the cells of our body you can see our cells will be like this uh, this is a cells of uh, a dry skin okay so let's continue from here wash wash fruits and vegetable before peeling and cutting washing cutting vegetables join up with the vitamins and minerals do not overcook or cook food at high temperature as there is use the nutrient value okay this is also good so these are many points okay so i'm giving you homework you have to make this exercise how many exercise you do in your whole time okay and write a diet for you okay 
so now we will add a sunflower oil mustard oil olive oil and the fat from fish such as cod are good for heart steam food is not wholesome light to and easy to digest for example idli and dhokla use fermented and sprouted food in your diet soaking and sprouting of beans nuts seeds and grain improve its nutrients value the natural fermentation of food helps to preserve nutrients in in food and break the food down in to a more digestible form for example idli and dosa do not skip breakfast and have a earlier light dinner drink plenty of water and fluid health we need to have a strong disease free body so we need to have a strong disease free and alert mind to be healthy it's a state of complete physical and mental well being to stay healthy we should have a proper balanced diet okay so we learn our balanced diet so like this we can draw you uh, you are also having a food journal no in a food journal there will be like this much we need this 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 what is the shade this etc okay guys so next uh, i had gave this you homework na to write all the okay so let's go to the next page so now you can see that more blood to the brain it helps to use the fat stored in our body yoga swimming cycling walking outdoor games are the some good exercise rest we should take rest yeah taking rest is the best option and we should maintain hygiene hygiene means you have to do our this daily habit as we know drinking water cutting nails bathing hand wash and all okay so this posture how much which uh, which posture you should be okay so we should stand straight walk straight if you want to keep something down we should sit like this we should not do like that okay next if you want to sit we should sit straight as you can see here this man is sitting with bend okay we should not put pillow when he was sleeping see here this man is putting this is very incorrect for other now you can see a disease a disease is a condi- condition in which our body or a part of it does not function properly this is are caused by, due to many reasons generally disease are two type non communicable and communicable okay non communicable diseases this is that do not spread from one person to another are called non communicable or non congenital diseases they are disorder in the body caused due to the lack of one or more nutrients in our diet these are called differently diseases some of the differently diseases they are caused some tuberculosis and preventive measure and isn't to table for so you can see tb is this column okay see this much big it is okay in the fifth channel like this only so now here is communicable diseases now we'll see in communicable diseases this is that spread from one person to another or called communicable infection diseases these diseases are caused by microbes which can only be seen using microscope some of the harmful microbes which can which can cause diseases are called germs okay so now let's go to next phase so through food and water eating infection infected food and drinking infected water causes diseases like diarrhea typhoidia diarrhea and cholera food and water may get infected with germs when they are when they are not stored properly okay so guys for today's video this is okay because this video is getting longer i mean 20 minutes okay so let's stop is this video here itself okay bye bye guys see you later this is satvik see you next time 
बाय बाय गाइस लव यू ऑल